Thank you, Detlef. Just a small dessert, uh, which is probably not very good, um, but uh, perhaps uh, with some advice that could be very useful nonetheless. So what you see uh, on the left is again a cough. Uh, it's actually me coughing. And what we did is we analyzed very precisely the drop size distribution, similar to what Lydia already mentioned. And what we find is that there's large drops that don't stay in the air very long, and there's small drops. And so what is interesting in these small drops is that one cough is uh, sufficient to produce uh, uh, roughly a million of these drops, depending on who coughs. And so what you see in the, uh, in the right four pictures is that these, uh, the air drag on these droplets is so large uh, that they take uh, up to 10, 15 minutes to sediment. So imagine that you enter a public toilet after somebody who was infected with uh, corona had coughed. Uh, you can see after zero seconds, uh, top left, uh, that there's lots of small particles as you would expect. But after four minutes, there's still a lot of particles. After eight minutes, there's still quite some particles. And even after 60 minutes, there's particles still being present from that one cough 60 minutes ago. And so the advice to everybody is open your windows, open your doors, and ventilate it just as that left hold you in the very beginning. Thank you.